K-12 Basic Education Curriculum, Technology and Livelihood Education, Learner's Activity Sheet, Lesson Video, Computer System Servicing, CSS, Safety Procedures in Using Tools, Week 2. Today class, I'm your TLD teacher, Sir Lance. Welcome to a new learning competency in TLE Computer System Servicing. Learning Competency Identify all safety procedures in using tools. Report malfunctions, unplanned or unusual events to the supervisor. Store and maintain tools according to standard procedures, principles, and techniques. Do you know that improperly use of tools can cause more problems than it solves? Here is the correct use of tools in working areas. Several tools are attracted when working around electronic device. Take care that the tools you are using have not been attracted. Attractive fields may be harmful to data stored on attractive media. Check your tool by pointing the tool with a screw. If the screw is drawn to the tool, do not use the tool. Screws Screws can become exposed if you over-tighten them with a screwdriver. An exposed screw may mire within the screw hole, or it should not tighten firmly. Discard exposed screws. A. Flat Head Screwdriver Do not use a flat head screwdriver to get rid of a Phillips head screw. Never use a screwdriver as a wrecking bar. If you can't remove a component, Check to determine if there's a clip or latch that's securing the component in position. B. Phillips Screwdriver Use a Phillips head screwdriver with cross head screws. Do not use this kind of screwdriver to puncture anything. This can damage the pinnacle of the screwdriver. C. Hex Driver Use this tool designed to drive in bolts and screws with hexagonal sockets in their heads. Improper use of this tool will cause damage. D. Torx Screwdriver It has a unique design. The head is less likely to strip, ruining the screwdriver. It has a star-like depression on the top, a feature that is mainly found on laptop. Soldering iron and soldering stand. Always use a soldering iron stand after you are not soldering to avoid burns or damage. Crimping tool and wire stripper. When using the crimping tool and wire stripper, just put a little pressure to avoid damage to the hardware. Needle nose pliers, part retriever, and tweezer. These tools can hold or pick up a small component that bare hands are not able to hold. Multimeter and Land Tester Always maintain the functionality and accuracy of the hardware to ensure the accurateness of measurement of any things that you just need measure. Anti-static wrist strap Always use DEAL, this tool, when working to avoid static electricity shock. Punch down tool It is also called crown tool. When the punch down tool connects a wire, the blade cuts off the excess wire. Loop back adapter this is required if you are installing on a non-network computer to connect the computer to a network after the installation. It assigns a local IP address for your computer. If 
using proper tools in cleaning the computer parts will keep the computer hardware free from scratches. Always perform cleaning operation that will keep the computer in a good working condition. Proper use of cleaning materials. Dust is not just unattractive, it can potentially damage or even destroy parts of your computer. Cleaning your computer regularly will help you keep it working properly and avoid expensive repairs. Components cool, chips and circuits to overheat and fail. Caution When compressed air is used to clean the system unit, the air should be blown around the components with a minimum distance of 4 inches from the nozzle. The power supply and the fan should be cleaned from the back of the case. Before cleaning any device, turn it off and unplug the device from the power source. Computer Cases and Monitors Clean computer cases and the outside of monitors with a mild cleaning solution on a damp, lint-free cloth. If any water drips inside the case, allow enough time for the liquid to dry before powering on the computer. Do not use glass cleaner to clean a monitor. Many screens have anti-glare coatings that can be damaged by glass cleaner. Keyboard Clean a desktop keyboard with compressed air or a small handheld vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment. Caution! Do not use a standard vacuum cleaner in cleaning your system unit. Use only the prescribed cleaning tool to avoid damage to the unit. Using proper tools in cleaning, the computer parts will keep the computer hardware free from scratches. Computer hardware is a collective term used to describe any of the physical components of an analog or digital computer. The term hardware distinguishes the tangible aspects of a computing device from software, which consists of written instructions that tell physical components what to do. Keyboard A keyboard is a portable wired or wireless electronic device that contains all the alphabets, numbers, symbols, and special characters which is used for entering data into a laptop, desktop computer system, and QWERTY keyboard layout. Mouse A computer mouse is a handheld hardware input device that controls a cursor in a GUI or graphical user interface and can move and select text, icons, files, and folders on your computer. It was invented by Douglas Engelbart in 1963. Drive The hard disk drive is the main and usually most substantial data storage hardware device in a computer. The operating system, software titles, and most other files are stored in the hard disk drive. Monitor A monitor is a piece of computer hardware that displays the video and graphics information generated by a connected computer through the computer's video card. System Unit The system unit, also known as a tower or chases, is the main part of a desktop computer. It includes the motherboard, CPU, RAM, and other components. The system unit also includes the case that houses the internal components of the computer. It's time to test and apply your knowledge class. It's activity time! Learning task number one, write true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. 
Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Learning task number 2. Solve the crossword puzzle by identifying the different hand tools. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Learning task number 3. Supply the missing letters to complete the words based on the given descriptions. Write your answer in the space provided. Performance tasks, tools and equipment inventory report. Direction, in a short band paper, make an inventory report of all the different tools and equipment available in your house, used in computer system servicing. Write the name of the tools, condition if good or not in good condition, its maintenance standard procedure, and your suggested recommendation. Use the given format or template below. You will be graded using this inventory report rubric. Thank you class for watching and listening. Don't forget to give your comments, like, share, and subscribe. See you again on our next e-learning class. Have a great day. Goodbye.